ETFinalScore.com has East Texas high school sports covered. And now you can take it with you. Get the latest scores for Friday Night Football, articles and videos. Focus in on Dotney photo galleries and more. So don't miss a thing and get your ETFinalScore.com app today. Good morning, East Texas. I'm Dawn Rhodes and this is your TylerPaper.com morning news update. Nacogdoches police are looking into a possible sexual assault at an apartment complex. Our news partners at KYTX CBS 19 are reporting that it happened around 7 Sunday morning at the Grove Apartments on Cardinal Street. The victim reported being sexually assaulted by two known suspects. So far, no arrests have been made. Hear the rest of this hour's top stories. This is AP News Minute. President Obama has half a dozen television interviews scheduled for Monday. He's making the case for limited military strikes against Syria in response to that country's alleged use of chemical weapons. Meanwhile, Syrian President Bashar Assad denied using chemical weapons in an interview with U.S. journalist Charlie Rose. A Brazilian television report says the National Security Agency spied on major international corporations. It quotes documents from leaker Edward Snowden as saying the NSA spied on Google's private networks a company that facilitates most of the world's international bank transfers and Brazil's state-run oil company. And authorities blame mechanical failure for an accident at a fair in Connecticut. An adult plus a dozen children went to the hospital after a ride malfunctioned and stopped. Matt Small, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. This morning's featured focus in on Dot Me Photo Gallery was taken by our James Bauer in Friday's TK Gorman versus Oak Ridge Varsity Football Game. All the photos are available for purchase. Visit Focus In on Dot Me by clicking the photo link at the top of any TylerPaper.com page. Here's your weather forecast. Your CBS 19 East Texas Monday weather forecast. Temperatures hovering pretty close to that 90 degree mark by lunchtime today, all the way up to 99. That's running some 10 degrees hotter than normal for this time of the year. High pressure aloft still centered over the breadbasket state of Kansas, parts of Oklahoma and western Missouri. That high will actually start to stretch out and move or migrate off to the east over the next several days, allowing for a bit of a southeasterly fetch of moisture coming in off the Gulf of Mexico. I-45 areas southwest of there, the I-10 corridor, a slight chance for a stray shower or thunderstorm this afternoon and again tomorrow afternoon. But as you can see, still the bulk of this moisture wrapping up and around this big, large area of high pressure that is not anticipated to weaken and really go anywhere significantly until the end of the work week. By then, it allows a weak backdoor cool front to start to tease us by Friday into Saturday, a slight chance for rain then. It'll be hot tomorrow through Thursday, highs upper 90s. Thanks for watching and look for more news updates throughout the day.